Hello everybody, Marty Richards with Greater Richland Tourism here today. And uh, this is our version of, of why do we call it that for today. Uh, we're in Ithaca Township and we are located at what is called the Derrickson Plot. So why do we call it the Derrickson Plot? This goes all the way back to the first settlers of Ithaca Township. And Thomas Derrickson and James Walker were two of the very first people that settled Ithaca Township. Now, not far behind was a fellow by the name of Mr. German, who was the father of A.D. German, who also came shortly after as well. This valley was pretty much all either Derrickson or German farmland. Well, Mr. Derrickson is really the topic of our story here, obviously, because of the Derrickson plot, and why do we call it that? Well. Mr. Derrickson uh, ended up in this area because he had served in the Mexican-American War. And many of those soldiers were given a land grant or land uh, by the federal government for their service rather than taking pay. Mr. Derrickson was one of the few that actually came to the land that the government gave him. Many sold those plots. When Mr. Derrickson came, he developed his farm, uh, settled with his wife. They started to have children. It was kind of a sad start as uh, Mr. Derrickson had a son, John, who was the first born uh, individual of immigrants that came and settled this area, but unfortunately was also the first child who passed away in this area and the first burial here in this area. Um, they continued then to have another child who unfortunately also passed away as typhoid was pretty prevalent in the infants at that time. Both children passed from that. Mr. Derrickson went on, as I had mentioned, developed a, a really nice farmstead. Uh, as you drive up Highway 58 and you look up towards Hell Hollow, uh, if you're coming from Richland Center, just look on the hill and just imagine uh, right up next to Hell Hollow that there would be a beautiful white barn and a beautiful white house there with a big cupola. Now, you might find this a little odd. That was the farmstead. Why is Mr. Derrickson buried here when there is the Willow Valley Cemetery is literally less than a mile away. That was is on land that Mr. Derrickson owned. So the legend goes, and this, uh, I'm, I am related to this individual through uh, a couple of marriages, so uh, I, I take the hit myself as well. However, the legend goes that Mr. Derrickson was one of the only slaveholders in the area. So what he did, was that allegedly he would sit in the top of his house in the cupola and if the workers in the fields weren't working hard enough, he would literally take a shot near them with his rifle to get them to move faster. Now, when he passed, the community allegedly, and, and there is some legend to support this, uh, he allegedly was not allowed to be buried in the cemetery with the rest of the good Christian folk from the area. And therefore, that is why Mr. Derrickson uh, also rests here right on the property that was his farmstead. Now, there is an alternative, so I give you two options and you pick. And that was that Mr. Derrickson really wasn't liked. He just, not that he owned slaves, it's just that he wasn't a friendly man and the community didn't like him. And that when he passed, he himself said, no, I want to be buried on my farmstead right here, uh, you know, where I can still manage and control the farm. And so that, that is the alternative story that I've heard both sides of that from folks who unfortunately they too have passed now and uh, so we're left to kind of draw our own conclusions on it. The one thing I will add that's a little odd, uh, I already told you about uh, his children, two children who had passed away, uh, they are buried in the Willow Valley Cemetery. So that is a little interesting in itself that he didn't choose to be buried there. So with all that said, that is why we call this the Derrickson Plot. For Greater Richland Tourism, I'm Marty Richards. Let's everybody have a great day.